the West Ham Network channel. My name is Harry and in today's video I'll be previewing the second leg of the West Ham vs Viaborg game. I for one was over the London Stadium for the first leg of the tie and Viaborg looked like no mugs. I thought at times they were probably the better side knocking the ball past us as like it was a training game. Of course we got let off quite lightly as I still do believe the difference in quality we have over them is quite large. But if West Ham are not on their A game in this return leg we could be set for major disappointment. As I stated, in my previous video, I can't state to say I know a lot about Viable, but after watching their performance against us at the London Stadium, in my opinion, there is some cause for concerns. Viable are likely to set up again within their favoured 4-3-3 formation, and there may be some subtle differences to the lineup from the last game. Although I won't go into their lineup too much, I'll just put a picture up of what I think they will set up with. They have potentially got one of their better players returning into their starting 11 after a mistake with a visa application made him ineligible to play against us in the home tie. This player is called Sed and is one of their most promising players, scoring in previous rounds and even attracting some interest from Premier League sides. So this could be some area of concern for West Ham, considering Grot, their big man up front, I thought already was causing Ogbonna some problems. West Ham must remember that Viable got no pushovers and would have gained much confidence from scoring against us and giving us a match at the London Stadium. This game could really go both ways. Now moving on to West Ham. As I said, in the previous leg, we really did not look that great and to be honest with you, I was quite disappointed with a lot of players' performances. But... Once again, we really do not have the option to change much up around, as obviously we need to get a much needed win against Villa on Sunday. So I think he'll go with a similar sort of lineup, but here's how I think we will set up. I think David Moyes will stick with a 4 2 3 1 formation, once again due to injuries, and I think Ariola will start in goal, as once again he is our cup goalkeeper. At right back, we will go with Harris Nashby. Although I wasn't overly impressive in the first leg, hopefully he'll get some games under his belt and he will improve. The two centre backs will be Kerra, and hopefully another start for Angelo Ogbonna. I personally think Zuma needs to take some time out the side as he looked atrocious recently, so giving him a rest midweek will be for the best. At left back, I think we will play with Ben Johnson. Although we have just signed Emerson, I'd like to think we will be starting against Villa on Sunday. And the two midfielders will be Thomas Suchik and Flynn Downs, as of course Declan is still suspended, and this will more likely be the best option. Although I much would rather take Suchik out for Coventry. In the number 10 position, I think it will be Lanzini. I know he didn't offer much within the first leg, but also I think four hours will be rested for the Villa game. And in the front three will be Bowen on the right, Skamaka up front and hopefully Maxwell Cornet on the left. Hopefully him and Skamaka impress and then fingers crossed on Sunday against Villa we may go with a different lineup. I do think this game can go either way depending on who gets the first goal. If we do then this game set a match however if Fireball score first then it could be a squeaky bomb time for West Ham. I think the game will end with a 2-0 victory to us hopefully with goals from Skamaka and Cornet. Well that is it guys for my predictions, let me know what you think in the comments and also tell me how you'd like to set up the team also. If you enjoyed the video don't forget to leave a like and also subscribe. See you in the next one. It's like a family tree Part of you and part of me And if we should separate